when America's Jack Posobiec sits down with former White House Communications Director Anthony Scarmucci for a wide-ranging discussion. And here's part one of the interview on the president's agenda and his accusations of obstruction from the left. So here's what happens with the left, what I love, okay? If you're telling the truth and you have a really good idea or strong opinion, they got to smack you up and they've got to dehumanize you. They say you've got mental illness or they got to caricaturize you or they've got to put you in a shame box so that you're not allowed to speak. And so particularly if you're if you if you're you or me or somebody that's a, a Trump supporter, you're obviously something's wrong with you. Right. They've got to find some kind of label. They've got to find some kind of excuse. Well, no, no one in their right mind could be a Trump supporter. So I was actually told find, I should know yeah. better. I said, excuse me, I should know better. Yes, you should know better. You went to really fancy pants schools and, uh, you know, you should know better. You're not the typical blue collar person. You should know better. I said, no, no, you should know better. See, what the brilliance of what the president did was typical Republican went after the very wealthy people. Right. And then he said, if you're in the working class, you want to tag along with us, go right ahead. What the president did was he went after all of the blue collar people. Mm -hmm. And then he turned to the wealthy. He said, hey, if you want to come along with us, go right ahead. We're right here. And this is the title of your book, right? He upside the yeah, title this of my is book the is the blue collar book. president. And that's, right. that's actually the thesis of the book. The president actually understood that there's a forgotten man and woman uh, uh, and, and, and flat out no biases as it relates to race, color, creed, religion, none of that sort of stuff. He said, okay, we're going to take care of the forgotten man and woman. Right, and that's, that's why how we saw won. these states that nobody ever thought was going to vote for a Republican, states like Michigan, states like Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, which hasn't gone in almost a generation, mm -hmm. now are flipping for Trump. And I don't know if it was necessarily political in the sense of Republican, Democrat, but in the sense of, number one, like you said, that he was telling it like it is, he spoke plainly, and because he spoke to their concerns. Yeah. And, and something else is going to happen as uh, we get into 2020, uh, money's going to start to be being spent. He'll move around the United States like he did in the 2016 campaign. And through the energy of his personality and his communication style, he'll win those states again. He'll go on to a resounding re-election victory. And, and the good news is the economy's growing. And my prediction as a trained economist is that it will stay in relative growth through the 2020 election cycle. So I think the tax cut has been an enormous benefit to the U.S., and a very good stimulus offsetting the interest rate rises. We can use your help. Call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call today.